transforming downtown Jacksonville. The Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp unveiled this today, a new look at the baseball grounds. It's called Project Next. Now, this is what the main entrance would look like, and inside, we can expect to see even more changes with the street-level merchandise shop and the PNC Home Plate Club. It's the first major renovation to the ballpark since it opened in 2003. News for Jack's reporter Ariel Schiller gives us a look at the changes already underway and what some hope this means for our city. I love it. I love seeing the work that they're doing downtown here. It definitely needs work from what it used to be, and it's starting to look prettier every year. They just got more stuff coming, and I'm, I'm excited to see what it's got to offer us. When the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp host opening day in several weeks, fans will notice some improvements to the stadium as they walk through the gates, including a larger video board and two ribbon boards. There will also be fans and cooling devices on the concourses for fans to stay cool. We met Josh Dillard at Friendship Fountain. He's lived in Jacksonville his whole life. So I know the city is putting $31 million into the Jumbo Shrimp Stadium. How do you feel that knowing that the city is putting dollars towards the, these types of projects? I love it. I think we can always have a better stadium for anything, you know. So putting that type of money and making it more a bigger attraction for people and their families to come see because uh, Jumbo Shrimps, you know, that is a, a family team. A lot of people bring their kids there. So the bigger, the better. The improvements for this season are the first of many for 121 Financial Ballpark. The other improvements will happen over the next year, including a multi-level building being added to the right field with climate controlled spaces, a souvenir shop and a concourse level that can host special events. There will also be a home plate club that can be used year round and could be activated before concerts, sporting events and more. Finally, the new front porch will serve as the main entrance and gathering point, as well as integrate surrounding developments. Between the improvements at the ballpark and the planned renovations at Everbank Stadium, businesses are looking forward to the extra boost the development will bring. Uh, and I feel like us being able to be a part of that is just grows our business, which is great. Uh, also just in, grows our involvement in the community as a whole. Corey Grows, bar and event manager at Manifest Distillery says, even with the setback of the fire at Rise Doro next door, their customers are still showing up for them. And we've seen a lot of people coming in just, hey, how are you doing? Making sure that we're okay and wanting to support us, knowing that we lost some, some business. He says the improvements to the sporting facilities and downtown are welcomed by businesses in the area. We have the Jaguars, we have the Jumbo Shrimp, the Icemen. Sporting events bring a lot of business to here to us and also to our neighbors next door as well. Um, and we just want to get people out here, enjoy our cocktails before and after the game and just have a good time. In Jacksonville, Ariel Schiller, Channel 4, The Local Station. The owner of the Jumbo Shrimp, Ken Babby, says construction will begin soon for Project Next and that it won't disrupt the 2024 season.